What's going on guys, Rai Flawless here, and today we're going to talk about the newly announced Ghost-type Pokemon Graveyard. So without further ado, let's talk about what's new in the world of Pokemon. First off, I just want to say how much I love the new found footage trailers that the Pokemon Company has been doing. They did the one for Zoroa in uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and they've done two now for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So I would just ask that Pokemon Company, please keep this up because it's super cool. All right, so on to Graveyard. Graveyard is the ghost dog Pokemon, and it is a pure ghost type. Despite the lit candle on the top of its head, it is not fire type. But I could honestly see when it evolves, because I do believe that this is a first stage, that it may gain that fire typing. Graveyard will have the ability pickup, and essentially what that ability does is after a battle, Graveyard will have a chance to pick up an item. Sometimes it can even be a rare item. And in some conditions, Graveyard could even pick up an item within a battle. One of the really cool design choices for this Pokemon is the lit candle on top of its head, because in both trailers it showed that Graveyard can burrow underground and only the lit candle is exposed above the ground. I hope this carries over well into the game because the idea of walking around and seeing these lit candles on the ground and then a Pokemon popping out like a jump scare is really cool. I'm actually super happy with the design of this Pokemon and I think it was really cool to reveal it before Halloween. I would like to see them go a little bit more crazy with the ghost lore and the paranormal aspects in this Pokemon game. I think they did a pretty good job in Pokemon Legends Arceus, but if they would just lean into it a tiny bit more for some side missions or something like that, I think it would be super fun. All right, guys, what do you think about Graveheart? Is this a cool Pokemon to you? Is it good typing? Do you like the design? And are you excited to use it in your game? And would you like to see more paranormal or horror or ghost themes in the Pokemon games in general? And what are some of your favorite spooky or paranormal Pokemon or stories within the Pokemon franchise? I really like the haunted house with Rotom in it, and I really enjoyed the reimagining of the Mother Marowak ghost scene in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Let me know what you think about these topics down in the comments below. I'm going to get the heck out of here. You're all flawless, and I'll see you next time. Bye.